every art medium is difficult in its own way. And with digital art, what I didn't expect is how I can just zoom in and stare at pixels and want to erase them and then the line art looks weird. This is time consuming and you're not really getting anywhere with your work. So you're like adding hours to what could be way shorter. I would highly recommend when you're doing this and you catch yourself fixating on the smallest details to zoom out and just look at it zoomed out because no one's going to be looking at your art zoomed in. You need to view it like a viewer would. That would be a great time to go outside, eat a snack, watch a YouTube video, whatever. I'm always here. When you come back, you'll be looking at it with fresh eyes. And if you don't trust your own eyes, you can always ask somebody else. Another small detail I think a lot of artists get caught up in, and I used to get caught up in all the time, is line work. There's this obsession with getting lines like super straight or super thin. If you like how your art looks with really thin lines, that's great. But I just don't want anyone to feel like it has to be all thin lines. I love the fluidity when it comes to line work and how you can make somebody's eyes go to certain places. Like obviously in this drawing, the eyes, I make them really thick and I think that really pops. It makes the artwork pop. It definitely depends on your style, but I would just say experiment more. Don't put yourself in a box. Subscribe. It's $0 a month. It's free. Okay, okay. I was kidding. I was kidding. Um, I was just going to say that you should experiment more with colors and brushes. Lining your work with black or a harsh color, I guess, can be very intimidating. So if you just want to spice it up and see how you do with a lighter color, you should definitely try that and you can always change the color after you're finished. So I could have lined this with pink the whole time and then just went back and turned the opacity and darkness down and it would have worked just the same, but maybe I wouldn't have been so harsh with all the pixels and such. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video experimenting with that myself. I could try it and see how I do if like I felt like it was more of a roadblock or if I felt like, wow, this really helped me. Okay, on the other hand, we have brushes and I love brushes. Like I'm obsessed with any type of brush because it can, that's like an art block thing too as well. Like brushes can help you get out of art block just because you're like having so much fun experimenting with them. But in this case, if you're being a perfectionist and you feel like you are focusing on details too much or just how a certain thing looks in your artwork, definitely try out new brushes. If you can't afford new brushes, and I totally get it, you can always look up some on Google. Look up free brushes for your said program. I use Procreate, of course, so I would look that up. And I would look up the terms and conditions of that said brush pack or brush set. I would look for the commercial usage, like could I make art prints and could I sell them if I use this brush even though I credited the brush like you would still want to know these things like even if I credit the brush can I still not use it for my art prints most of them won't care as long as you credit but definitely make sure you read the fine print another tip I have would just be realize it's normal to make mistakes you are human we are human we have to evolve like an icon once said nobody is perfect we live and we work it again and again until we get it right hand on hand on if I didn't make all the mistakes I made when I was a tween, a kid, a teenager, I would not be where I'm at today. Most artists can agree that we'll never truly master art. We're not just going to do something and then it's done and we're perfect. We can learn so much more forever. Like, there's things we'll, we'll never learn even after we're gone. And it's okay. It's good. Like, you're going to be great at this. But you'll never be perfect and that's normal that's human we are human and i love it i know this like might be coming off cringe but that's just like some food for thought trial and error you can think about this any other way like say your dad's an accountant okay maybe he doesn't take accounting seriously i don't know i don't know what the hell accountant does numbers and stuff but he'll never be a perfect accountant okay he always has room to improve because nobody's perfect and he is a normal person I put a lot of thought in this, okay, in this video in general, because I am somebody who used to not finish what they started because I was such a perfectionist and I still have trouble sometimes, but for the most part, I've gotten way better and I just wanted to share what I did to help some of you out there who are not putting out work just because they're so intimidated by themselves, really. 
I hope this sincerely helps you and I hope you work on your perfectionism with digital art as well or just any other art. I hope all of it helps anyone who watches this. It personally helped me a lot. It helped me finish things instead of just abandoning them because I didn't want to finish them because I was too much in my head. If anybody else has tips they think are helpful or they've tried, leave them below. I'll make sure to reply and I think it'd be great if it could help others as well. And that'll be it for this video. I will see you guys next week. Bye. I do guys say sorry for not having an upload Wednesday because I try my best. I really do. But then life happens and it comes and it goes. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm going to try my best to get the next upload out this Wednesday. So fingers crossed. I've had a lot going on in my life, especially with my dog, because she had to get used to having another dog in the house. And she does not like people. And she does not like other dogs. Um, every dog is different, but I could definitely do a video on how I got her used to him. But of course, that's not going to work for everybody. So whatever. Just let me be, okay? If I want to turn everything in my life into a YouTube video, that's perfectly fine. It's, it's content. It's content without being traumatizing or trauma dumping. So love that. If you stayed here until the rambly part of the video that just happened right now, thank you so much. You guys are real for real. Let me know how you guys have been. What have you been up to? What is going on with y'all? And I will see you next week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Bye. Just stay tuned.